Uh, the topic here is indefinite integrals. So let's do more examples. Uh, by the way, the first two definitions, we can rewrite them as one property, like integral. If you look at the definition, it's an integral of a constant times a function plus a constant times another function is equal as a constant times the first in, the integral of the first function plus the second constant times the integral of the second function. Now let's see, show you how to use it. In other words, to do three steps in one. So first, let's evaluate this integral. Number one, we can we have to foil this because we don't know this is a product of two functions. So we don't know we don't have any rule for the integral of a product of two functions. So, in other words, this is not going to be the integral, if you call this f of x and this g of x, it is not going to be equal to integral of f of x. This is not true. dx times the integral of g of x dx. This is not true. So what we need to do, show you, so we need to foil integral of 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 dx. To do this, we need to FOIL it. So if you FOIL it, you get 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times negative 3 minus 6x, plus 1 times x is x, plus 1 times negative 3 is minus 3 dx. Now, this is going to be equal to integral of 2x squared minus 6 plus x plus 1x is negative 5x minus 3 dx. Now what I'm saying instead of now what we can do here we can just say this is in, uh, equal I'm just trying to use this definition and just do two steps in one. So this is the same thing as 2 integral of x squared dx minus 5 Integral of x dx minus what? Well, just integral of 3. Or you can just say 3 integral of 1, but it doesn't matter. dx. Right? Now let's do this. And so it's 2 times integral of x squared. We're going to use power rule for integrals. So it's x 2 plus 1 is 3 over 3 minus 5 times integral of x is x. Remember, these are 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2 over 2 minus. And then remember, integral of a constant is 3 times x. That constant times x. And then plus a c. And we can rewrite this as 2 over 3 x cubed minus 5 over 2 x squared minus 3x plus c. Let's do example 12. Same thing for example 12 and this is division of two functions but so let me make sure if you call this f of x and the denominator g of x just like it just like the rule for remember there's a quotient rule for derivative and product rule it's kind of the same thing here. You cannot, this is not going to be equal to the integral of x4 plus 2x cubed minus 5 dx. This is not true over integral of x dx. So you can't do that. In other words, what we need to do, all we need to do is divide by x. So use some algebra. This is equal integral of, I'm going to divide each term by x. So this is x4 over x plus 2x cubed over x minus 5, well, we didn't do log yet, so let me change the problem, let me make this um, 5x, so I'm changing the problem, so minus 5, otherwise we're going to need to get a log, we haven't done a log yet, so minus 5x, over x everything dx. Now this is equal to integral x4 over x is x cubed plus 2 x cubed over x is x squared minus 5x over x is 5 
dx. And now we know what to do with this. Now, again, what we're going to do here, we're going to do it in one step. Because so far, we did so many examples that we can do this in one step. So we're going to use power rule for x cubed. So this is going to be x, 3 plus 1 is 4, over 4, plus 2 times, integral of x squared is x, 2 plus 1 is 3, over 3, minus, integral of a constant 5 is the same thing as 5 times x, and then don't forget plus some c. And let's rewrite this nicely. This is 1 over 4. You can leave it that way or you can rewrite it this way. Plus 2 over 3x cubed minus 5x plus c. And we're done.